Hey, what's going on, Sexy Seven Lotus Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 1v1. And uh, I got some news for you, boys. Today, I'm uploading my first ever members only video on YouTube. Well, I'm going to record it today. I don't know if it's uploading today, to be fair, but it probably will. So if you are not a member, you're going to be missing out on an extra video. Now, I do just want to say this real quick because for some reason, I think people got the wrong picture last time I said this. The videos I'm making on the member, like members only videos, it's not going to be taking away from anything I'm currently doing. Like if there's always, there's going to be a try hard Thursday on Thursday for everyone, but there might be an additional one for members. Like, that's the kind of shit I'm talking about. It's it's only going to be extra. It's not going to be... I'm not putting anything behind the paywall. You're still going to get the same thing that you would always get. But if you would like, or if you have an extra five bucks or something like that, and you want extra content, then you can join to be a member. All you have to do to do that is click the link in the description or click the little join button under the video. It's $5 a month. Yada, yada, whatever. You know how it goes. Um, thank you in advance, by the way. Secondly, this Friday, that, that means, yeah, in four days, I'm doing a 24-hour stream, which I'm actually really looking forward to, not only because I love 24-hour streams. You don't, you don't. Okay. Not only because I love 24-hour streams, but also because I've been on a caffeine cleanse for so freaking long that I can't wait to not have to do it again or any longer. It's omega oh, annoying. Bro, you really just stopped my clear to mess up your own? I don't know about that one, Chief. I do not know about that one. Going back that way, huh? Nice. Level four. Going for your blue buff. Your blurb. Watch your step. But, you know, theoretically speaking, what if I didn't let you? You know, you did that to me, so what if I did it to you? Stupid, let's go. He beads my rap, but then missed his silence. <laughs> he missed his silence. So I ended up getting the blue. I'm freaking excited, boys. Let's go. Uh, by the way, I, you guys didn't seem to love the full lifesteal rat tasker video. And I'm wondering, maybe it's because... Um, hold on, this guy dies here. Frickin' dickin. Frickin' dickin'. He doesn't die here. I'm wondering, maybe it's because, uh, you know, you normally don't build lifesteal on rats. So, like, going full lifesteal, that's kind of... That's a full meme. You know, that's a full meme. It's not like a half meme. So, what if... And I know I'm doubling down on something that didn't do well here, which is, you know... You're not supposed to do for the YouTubes, but I'm doing it anyways. What if it's because you guys wanted to see a god that's actually good with lifesteal... And double down on that. So here I am. Anubis. I'm going to build a hundred million lifesteal. And uh, he's going to try to anti-heal me. It's not going to matter because I'm the best. And then... By the way, whenever I say I'm the best, I don't... I don't, I, I don't actually mean it. I've actually seen a few comments that are like, this guy's so conceited. You know, yada, yada, whatever. Uh, I don't actually mean it. I'm really, like, I know I'm not that great. I missed. I know I'm not that great, but I, you know, sometimes hyping yourself up makes you play a little bit better. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to build 100 million lifesteal items. And I'm going to actually win the game. And he's not going to be able to anti-heal me because my mentality is better than his. Yeah. I don't do that much damage, huh? My three alt? I did about 900, I guess. That 
it's not a little amount of damage. It's not a lot, but it's not a little. I really want his blue again. But I, I, my assumption is he's not going to let me have it. Watch your step. Okay. I don't know why he feared me just now. He just used his whole combo on the wave. Please. I thought I would do way more damage than this. Let's go. Oh my god, he actually beads that. I was letting him do damage to me with his ult because the lower HP I am, the more damage I deal, aka like Bancroft's. And um, I wanted to see if I could grab a kill there. He doesn't have bees now, so if I wrap him, he dies. So he's got to be careful about the way he moves up to clear minions. He didn't die there, but he will lose tower. You better run, bro, because I'm not letting you back. You want to do something? You want to do something? Bro. You got to back. Like, you, you can't just not back ever. Oh, God, that hurt. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. Okay. What's the game plan here? I'm interested. I'm interested because he waited so long to back there. He lost his tower. He lost two entire waves worth of gold. And he lost damage to his, his Phoenix. And... Well, he didn't gain anything from it. Like, normally, if you lose something, you're, like, trying to gain some collateral damage, at least. He didn't gain anything. He could have maybe killed me if I wasn't so trigger happy on my alt, but but I am, and I think he knows that, so he just didn't even go for it. Which one? I mean, good, good recognition that I will just alt the shit out of you. I don't even need to wrap you or anything. That is actually like smart gameplay. But the whole not backing thing, not smart. That one wasn't smart. I'm not roasting you. I'm just trying to help you get better. Let them come, By the way. Like whenever, I, whenever I comment something where, like, I criticize my opponent's gameplay, a lot of people think that I think I'm the shit. And I know everything that you should do all the time, always. Which is not true. But there is some times that I do know what I'm talking about. You know, I am literally the most experienced dual player on the planet. So, it would make sense that I know what I'm talking about sometimes. Do you scare me? I have Typhons. You don't scare me. I'm going to go over the wall and clear. Yup. Predictable. Oh, that landed. Oh, good fear. You're going to go over the wall again. I'm not stupid. I'm not dotish. Oh. What a cheeky little three by the dude there. All right, are you backing? Yeah, he backed. I saw his little, like, speed. I don't know. If you guys can watch it in, like, 0.1 speed or something, you could see his little speed buff teleport across the map for a second. Hold on, I guess. Add to these. Oh, jeez. Um, hello. Yeah? I missed. Ouch. Um, I don't think I'm scared of him. Holy damage. Bro, I do so much damage. I mean, it's a lifesteal build, honestly. I've been saying this for a while. And the only reason I'm saying this is because Captain Twig said it to me. And I was like, damn, he's kind of right. 
Um, the lifesteal build is probably the best mage build in the game right now. Not because... not not It's not because of the actual lifesteal aspect. Because Toxic Blade, Divine, Pestilence, Contagion, Beat Stick, all those... There's so many anti-heal items in the game. But it's the fact that when you build Bancroft's Claw, which I'm not going to build now. I'm going to build Fear the Magus. But Typhons gives you extra power per lifesteal item you have, right? You have three lifesteal items. When you're not in combat, you're healing to full every time. Right? You're always going to be full HP for, for a fight. You have 411 power with three items, which is more power than you get for instance him he has 234 power and he has book of thoth and divine ruin which are both very high power items because typhons gives you power based on your life steal an extra 25 percent of it actually your magical power is increased by twice the amount of life steal you have so you're getting a ton of extra power from your from your typhons not to mention the penetration which you know you can't really forget and and you're just always ready for a fight. And like, look at this burst, bro. Look at that burst. The, my guy's got tier two defense, and I just bought. I just built life steal items. Like I didn't even. Ha I didn't even have to think about my build. Bancroft, Typhon, Spear, the Magus, Polynomicon. Like I'll just buy all of them, and then. And then win. I, I mean, like, that's it. This, like, okay. I will say six life. Oh, okay. Six life steal items, kind of a meme. I'll admit. Kind of a meme. You don't scare me. Yeah. But, uh. I think you always, and I do mean always, if you are a mage. Go three lifesteal items. It's so freaking strong, man. It's so strong. For no reason. I'm going to go beads. And I'm going Polynomicon right now. I did go Bancroft's Claw because I think it's super important for survivability with this build. Because you gain a shield based on, like, whenever, you, whenever they use an ability near you or something like that. I don't know. 15 seconds, getting a stack of hunger. Abilities cast within 30 units of enemy guts. Consume a stack, dealing bonus damage for every 75% magical power you have. Or 75 magical power. For each god damage by hunger provides you with a shield of 1% of your max HP. For each 75 magical power you have. Okay. Understand. So it's not when they cast an ability. It's when you do. I really thought you were going to juke next to me. Think he's gonna steal my red? No. All right. Kind of expected him to, but. Oh hello! Oh hello! All right, I won't kill you this time, but I will kill you next time. You're so dead, big slow. Big one. Let's go. Massive kills. I just realized his name is Ah My Butthole. <laughs> okay. Don't know why it took me that long to figure that one out. I'm really great at uh, safe cracking over here. I want to kill the Titan, but I don't have enough time yet. And I just used my ult. Bro, you just like straight up don't do enough damage to scare me. Like I just life steal three year old. I missed. Mm. Oh, I might be dead here, actually. Wait, hold on. Life steal. Thank you. Nice. Plus one thousand HP. Let's go. And lifesteal. Jesus, my one does so much. Bro, you don't, you don't, you're not that guy, pal. 
Oh my god, I straight up aimbotted him. I actually aimbotted him. You know what? I'm actually not going to win right now because I want lifesteal items. Lifesteal. Um, we'll go poly and then we'll go Pythax. Pythax gives you a lot of lifesteal. Look at that, dude. 575 power. And I'm missing an item and I don't have red buff. Jeez Louise, man. How much power do you have? 400? Yeah, well, it's all right. I'm just casually... Casually almost 200 power ab above you <clears throat> with the best build in the game. Don't mind me. <clears throat> and you have uh, the Book of Thoth poly combo. <clears throat> which is a hella dangerous combo. I will say one thing I don't love about Lifesteal Anubis. Sorry, my nose is running. Uh, is... The fact that you have no cooldown. Hello. All right. I won't. I won't drag it out any longer. My guy's been through it. GG. GG. I had a lot of fun. I love doing these lifesteal builds. I actually find them so entertaining. <laughs> The lifesteal builds, the auto attack speed builds, the crit chance builds. I love doing all of those. They're very entertaining. Except when I'm Mercury and I have to go crit chance Mercury. That one's annoying because it never works. For some reason. Crit chance on Mercury is amazing. But crit Mercury is not amazing. If you know what I mean. When you have to build all the crit items. It doesn't matter. Uh, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, 24-hour stream this Friday starting at 6 p.m. Eastern. And uh, if you want some extra da dude content... Come back Saturdays, try hard Thursdays, normal videos, but just more of them and variety controller series, whatever. Consider joining. Love you. Peace.